On video, crooks snatching golf carts in North Captiva Island, and this is just one of a handful of cases like this. And it's costly. In one case, the crooks did $6,000 worth of damage to just a couple of carts. Four in your corner is Michael Cadigan on Captiva, where he's been finding out what's fueling this trend and how you can protect your property. Michael? The recent series of golf cart robberies has people on Captiva a little nervous. So for in your corner, we wanted to look into how to protect your golf cart, whether you rent it or it's your own personal one, from driving off without you. This surveillance video is from North Captiva Island Club. It shows one crook turning and staring at the camera while the other one reaches down during their heist. This is just one of several golf cart thefts on the island. This other video is showing a crook rolling it down a driveway. So what's the deal here? To get you some answers, I came here to Yolo Water Sports on Captiva, where I'm told golf cart owners often forget to lock them up. They're on vacation, they're not really thinking about it a whole lot. You know, I mean, we really got to remind them to do it. He says easy go golf carts like this red one are appealing to thieves because they can be easy to take. The uh, key for the actual golf cart itself to run it is universal with most golf carts, which makes it easy to take any cart if you have a key. But he tells me there's a cheap fix for that, a $10 bike lock. I asked him to show how it works for you. All we're going to do is just take the, the bike lock itself that's attached and bolted to the, uh, to the golf cart, and we run it through the steering wheel and back to the, to the lot. So even if crooks like these can roll the cart away, the lock keeps them from controlling it. The person who's going to potentially take the cart won't be able to steer it. It'll only go in a straight manner. But does anyone even know they should be using the lock? I asked visitor Margaret Osborne if she'd heard of the cart thefts. She said no, but can understand how it happens. I'm sure people are excited they are on vacation and they just pull up and leave the golf cart unattended, possibly even leave the keys in. So I'm certainly going to be putting mine back in the garage when I get back to my house. And keeping your cart locked up could keep you in the driver's seat instead of someone else. Deputies were able to recover the golf carts that were taken. They did notice some damage and that they were the shuffled. Reporting on Captiva, Michael Cadigan, Fox 4, in your corner. Thank you, Michael.